everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm The City Witch. If you're new here for the very first time, welcome. I hope you enjoy my content. You'll find a wide variety of videos on spell casting with tips, tricks and advice for you. I also do deck reviews, book reviews and crystal advice as well. And if you'd like to ask me any questions after you've watched any of my videos, please drop me a comment on the video and I'll get to you as soon as I can. So thank you very much for watching guys and I do hope you enjoy my channel and my content. So today's video is going to be a deck review and you might have guessed it because it's here in front of me. <laughs> so it's the Supernatural Tarot deck this week. So I am a huge fan of Supernatural. I absolutely love the TV show. A little bit sad that it's ended, but I did like how they ended it and it made perfect sense to me the way they ended it. The deck is something that I've been waiting for for rather a long time. I knew this was coming out and it's been in the works for about a year. When it did come out, it sold out almost instantaneously in the United Kingdom, so I had to wait a little bit longer to get mine, which is why mine's probably a little bit later than everyone else's. But hey, I've got it now, and yeah, I'm really pleased with it, guys. It's such, such a beautiful deck. So I've seen other people's reviews of this online, so I know roughly what's going to be inside, but I haven't opened this yet. All I've done is take the cellophane off to make it easy for the video. So first impressions of the box is amazing. I really like this blue, kind of red, arty theme. It reminds me of comic books of, you know, the old days like the Beano and stuff where they did that red and blue and black kind of design. Really like the gold embellishment around the side. Also looks like they are incorporating some spiritual symbols in the corner there, probably from the TV show. And then all around the edging, we have official tarot deck based on the series, Supernatural Join the Hunt tarot deck and guidebook, and that is all around the side. And if you look very carefully as well, you can kind of see there's some symbols there. The I think it's the angelic writing from the show, but it could also be a Nokian. So yeah, really nice looking box overall. It's also very steady and sturdy, quite thick, so your deck is going to be well protected in there if you dropped it or it got bashed or anything. So that's quite good. So good quality so far. Let's open and have a look. Ta-da! Ooh, that's nice. So, yeah, so inside we have a lot of the writing. So I bought the... Uh, which deck was it? It was the Nightmare Before Christmas deck, and it's done by the same person, so Minerva Seagal. She's got quite a few coming out. I hope I said her name right. Seagal? 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 I'm going with Seagal, but I apologise if I'm saying that wrong because I'm not very good with names. Um, but she's had a few decks in the works. So her first one came out and she did the Nightmare Before Christmas. She's now done the Supernatural Tarot deck. And then I believe next month in July, we are getting the Disney Villains uh, Tarot deck. And then after that, we're also getting the Labyrinth Tarot deck as well. And I'll be buying all of them, guys, because I'm a big fan of all of them. So why not? <laughs> so... In her last one, when she did The Nightmare Before Christmas, she had a lot of um, the symbols that match that inside the box. She's done kind of the same with Supernatural, so all the artwork is kind of matching. The artist is Matthew Skiff for this particular deck. And this is the guidebook. So, so far the guidebook's really nice. It's also really thick and it has symbols to match the TV show on it. Ooh, I really like that it's colour. That's, that's really good. So in the guidebook, it says we get an introduction, understanding your tarot deck and the major arcana, and then the minor arcana, and then we get tarot readings. So I'm not going to go into this too much because obviously, you know, I want to be surprised, but skip into the back. Let's see what spreads we get. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So the very first spread you get is the apple pie tarot spread. It instantly, um, all I've got in my head now is an image of Dean going pie. <laughs> So I love that. That's, that's really cool. Um, so they've obviously really thought about what they want to do for spreads for this. Then they've got Lucifer's Cage Tarot Spread. Oh, that's interesting. Lucifer's Cage is a notorious prison that has held some of the most powerful supernatural beings in existence. This tarot spread is designed to show you what's caged within you. In other words, what's holding you back from reaching your potential. This spread will show you how to work through those obstacles so you can live your happiest, most fullest life. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. Definitely give that a go, I think. And then we have Teen Free Will Tarot Spread. That's cool as well. And then we get information about the author and the illustrator at the very back of the book. 
and that's it. So we only get a couple of spreads, but I'm okay with that because I tend to use most of my own spreads anyway, and most experienced readers will probably be the same. But I do like some unique spreads to each deck I buy because it just makes them that bit more special and gives you something new to work with. So I do like that. So I'm going to pop those two to one side for a moment and get the deck out. Ooh, very nice. So... So these are the cards. So this is the back. Um, you guys who know me quite well on my channel now will know that I don't like it when you can tell which way around something goes. Um, obviously I can tell because obviously that's a pentagram there and obviously this would be the, well, it's the bottom in this one. Um, yeah, so you could tell which way around that is, I guess, but maybe to the untrained eye it'll be a bit more difficult. I don't know. So that's the back. The card stock is pretty good. It's the kind of thickness that I personally like in my decks. I like that they're a little bit bendy and flexible, but they've got that thickness to them. There is no gilding on the edge. It is plain. And the feel of the card is kind of smooth, almost metallic-y. Um, not quite the same as some of the cards decks I've got. Some of them are very, very shiny and glossy and have a really, really smooth feel. This is a little bit more matty i guess but still quite smooth it feels a little bit like um it's not silk what is it is it suede that material that has that weird feeling on your skin it feels a little bit like that if i'm honest guys but i don't mind it i really like that moment of truth let's have a look at the cards Ta -da! wow so yeah i do really like that so very first card is the fools so we've got sam and dean so this is like the beginning of their journey so that is really nice. So I'm going to run through all the cards, guys, and I'm hopefully, because quite a lot of them, it's obviously 78, so I'm going to be quite quick on this. But if you want to pause the video at any point to have a better look at the card, I suggest you do that. But I'll show you them quite closely to the camera, and yeah, I'll just go through the deck with you guys. <laughs> so that, that makes me laugh. Chuck. <laughs> So I won't try and spoil it for anybody, but obviously that does make perfect sense if you've watched all the show and you know exactly who Chuck is. <laughs> Rowena as the High Priestess. Yeah, I can totally see that working too. Okay, so that's their mum. So their mum is the Empress. That make that's true as well. That that's there's a lot of energies here that match, I think, to the characters of the show. They make perfect sense to me. So for the Emperor, they have their dad. We have Billy for the Hierophant. Yeah, that makes sense too, because she is all about the rules, all about justice and, you know, all about fairness. She doesn't like anybody breaking the rules and she could be very rigid on that. So that makes perfect sense with the Hierophant. Oh, the lovers. Oh, that's so cute. So we have Sam and his girlfriend from episode one. <laughs> that's got to be the most amazing card yet. The Chariot, of course, of course, it's got to be the Impala. What else would it be, guys? Yes, thoroughly approve. Okay, so we have Benny. So that's Dean's vampire friend. We have Bobby as the hermit. <laughs> the lucky rabbit's foot is the Wheel of Fortune. Love it. That's one of my favourite episodes. Aww. We have Donna. Castiel as the hangman. Yes, death is death. Love it. Oh, he was one of my favourite characters. They chose such a good actor to play death. Jodie. That makes sense as well, Temperance, because she's all about balancing the law. And yeah, I kind of feel like that matches her perfectly. Such a good character. Of course, we've got Lucifer as the devil. I suppose they could have gone with Crowley. I wouldn't have minded that. But, you know, Lucifer is a good character. Got Amara as the tower. Again, that makes perfect sense to me. Jack as the star. And Gabriel as the moon. Yeah, that makes sense too, with all the trickery, the secrets, lies and deceit. Oh, the sun. Oh. There are some really, really good choices in here for who they're choosing for the cards. Oh, the world. And it's from the perspective of being inside the Impala. I love that. Oh, I'm just, I'm super impressed with these. They've really thought about it. Yes. 
Mesotron. Okay, we have Lilith. This is nice. I like I like the idea of it being bones. That makes sense to me. So I have to look this up. So I'm pretty sure bones is supposed to be the element of fire in this. So it's kind of replacing wands. So they've mixed it up as well. So on the odd card, you're going to get just the actual uh, bones. And then others, you're going to get a person that relates to the characteristic of that card. And again, I like the way they've done that because it's not purely all the same thing. But I do like the idea of having the bones as a, a regular image there. Because obviously that doesn't really have bones on it. But you know, it's the three of bones. So yeah, I do, I do like the way they're doing this. I believe that is supposed to be Eve, I think. <laughs> oh, yes. Business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> That's my favourite phrase from him. Oh, I love Ash. He's such a good character. Raphael. Again, another image of Castiel there. Oh, there we go. So there's Crowley. So Crowley is the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I guess that makes sense because Crowley obviously um, was a sorcerer witch before he died and became, well, you know, a demon and then later the King of Hell. So, you know, that kind of does make sense with his evolution and his magic. So I like that. Good old yellow eyes. Nice pentacles. Makes sense as well. Oh yeah, characters from Ghost Phasers. I like that as well. So pentacles, they've gone with the tattoo. And it looks like they have changed up their pentacles because obviously we've got a different one in the background there. I believe that's their granddad in that one. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so they have changed. So you can see the evolution of the pentacle here using different styles and types. So I like that as well. Very nice. Okay, we have Ketch here. That makes sense as well. Oh. I really wish they hadn't have written those characters out. The sun dam, so cute. Okay, we have Cain. So we're now on blades. So we have the King of Blades. I like that because we've got the mark of Cain in the background there. Queen of Blades. Huh, Abaddon. Knight of Blades. Oh, Kevin! Okay, so Ace of Blades, we've got Dean's arm here with the um, Dagger of Cain and then the symbol of Cain. Okay, so again, they're doing the same thing with the blades, guys. They are changing them up and making them a bit different. So we've got two angel blades crossing there for the two of blades. Nice. Oh, I love that. Look at that. That's so clever. So they have drawn different types of blades from the show and they've put it on as the four blades. I love that. That's a really good idea. So clever. There we go. So we've got Meg. Again, they're doing the same thing there where they're adding more blades and making them more interesting. Ruby. Huh. The white woman. Huh, Alistair. And the pit. That makes sense. And the king of goblets. So goblets will obviously be water. Um, swords must be the air element because we know bones are fire. And then pentacles will be earth. So you can easily see which is which. Ah. Uh, 
I miss the roadhouse. Does anyone else miss the roadhouse? Because I totally do. <laughs> Garth, yay. <laughs> that makes sense too. <laughs> oh, I like that. So with cups, I wonder if they're doing, yeah, they are. They're doing different cups again. But I like that the Ace of Cups is the traditional ritual cup used by demons to connect and contact other demons. That's really clever. Bobby and Rufus. Yeah, I'm glad they included Rufus somewhere in this. <laughs> it's so funny, it's carrying his bucket of chicken. I love that. There's some really good character choices in here. I'm really impressed, I've got to say. Yeah, I love it. So good. And down to the last ones, guys. And there we have it. So that is the full deck. I am really impressed. I don't think the theme, the way they've decided to draw each of the cards with this kind of red and blue art style would be for everyone. But I kind of think it suits. And I think the way that they've done the cards with the different pentacles and seals and pentagrams. And then again, with the, the different cups that were used and chalices. And then, you know, they did the same thing with knives. I just think that's really clever. They've really thought about it as well with the characters they can include um, to help you along the way. So I actually would recommend this for a beginner. If you're a Supernatural fan and you watch the show from beginning to end and you know the characters quite well, when you're seeing a character come up on the card, you can probably easily think about what they represent, what they stood for, the characteristics, and apply that to the question or the tarot reading you're doing based on the card that comes up. You know, so it does make it quite easy if you're a fan of the show. So if you are a Supernatural fan, I would absolutely say, you know, get this deck. I think it's absolutely wonderful really nice I really like the aesthetic the artwork and the design and I do think they very cleverly thought it out so absolutely 10 out of 10 from me I think the deck is wonderful I'm really really impressed with it and really pleased so yeah absolutely if you are a supernatural fan guys get this and even if you're not I think it's a beautiful deck to add to your collection so yeah, get a, get a full thumbs up from me, guys. I <laughs> really love it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and click the bell so YouTube will tell you when my next video comes out. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through Patreon. And thank you very much to those who do that. I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you'd like to check me out on any of my other social media, all the links are in the description. And you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you can find me on Pinterest as well. And there's also my email address there, guys, as well. So if anyone wants to email me and ask me any questions or book my services, you can do that as well. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, be good to each other. And I'll see you soon. Blessed be.